Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Julio. Good evening. Hello, people. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <coughs>
<clears throat> okay, people, it is time to get started tonight. We already waited a couple of minutes for the latecomers, but it's time for the first attendance of the evening, okay? So please turn on your cameras and respond when you listen to your name, okay? <clears throat> Let's start with Alison Andrea Serrano. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Last second, I'm, I have a kind of allergy in my eyes. Okay. Carla Jasmine Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Okay. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present. Good. Edwin Vladimir Perez. And no, Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present. Okay. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria. Present teacher. Okay. Jennifer Guadalupe Elías. José Andrés Martínez. Julio César Fabián. Present. Okay. No hay Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Okay. Omar Alexander Chávez. Raúl Edgardo Sarceño. Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present. Ok. Eh, Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. Present teacher. Ok, Virginia, the 10 minutes at the end of the class are for you today, ok? Ok. Vladimir Alejandro García. Present. Okay, William Boris Roque. 
William Rodrigo Ángel. No. Ok. Let's start with lesson two. Let me share the screen. Okay. We always continue with. Hmm. With unit four, okay? The topic is tech support. And tonight's lesson. Oh, this Zoom is very slow. Is um, the objective is to be able to report a problem using formal language. Well, last night we studied some ways to report a problem or different problems we can have uh, with some equipment. Today we are going to study how to report a problem using formal language. We have a couple of questions here. First one is, what is the most common problem with printers? What is the most common problem with printers? What do you think? Tell me. The, the Sorry? network connection. Ah, okay. Let me run here. You said the network connection. Mm hmm What else? Stuck paper. Okay. Stock paper. Mm hmm Printing. What do you mean with printing? Well, no printing. Pintura. O tinta. Ah. Ok, pero ¿cuál es el problema? La tinta no es el problema. Don't have print. Ah. Don't have tinta. ¿Cómo se dice tinta? Ink. Ink. Don't have ink. Ok. Don't have paper. Don't have paper. Mm -hmm. Como decimos, no imprime. Anoche le mostré cómo decir cuando un equipo no hace lo que debe de hacer. The printer is not working. Ajá, pero no es eso lo que yo le mostré. It does not print. Ah, no es esa forma. Se los escribí ahí anoche porque no estaba en la lección, en el material. Want. Want. Ah. Want. Ajá. Want. Print. No imprime. Ok. The most common problems with printers. The network connection.
Okay, stock paper. I don't have ink, don't have paper. The printer is not working. That is one print. Yeah, no imprint. Okay. How often do you use a printer? You never use a printer? I usually use a printer once a week. Once a week, okay. In this moment, I don't use printer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nobody else? Usually, two paper things. Mm -hmm. For example, in my case, so for these classes or for this job, I don't use a printer. I never use a printer for this, this, this job. Yeah, everything is online, everything is digital. The grade, the reports, everything is digital. Oh, in my case, I never use a printer for work. I use a printer for other, other activities, but not for work. Okay, very good. We have a conversation here to practice. Um, Let me record the conversation in WhatsApp for you. Okay. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Okay. Listen one more time to the intonation and the pronunciation. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report the problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Okay. Now please listen and repeat. Let's practice. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Mike Hernandez, Mike Hernandez IT, department. IT department. IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. Hello. Hello. Mike. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I'd like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. 
It doesn't seem it to doesn't be working. It doesn't seem to be working. It's making a change. 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 It's making a I would like you to come soon to check it. Yes. 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 Also, there also is a red light. Red light. Red light. Red light. And we would like, 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 like you to come check. soon. To check. I see. I'll be there right away. I see. I see. I'll be there right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Okay, very good. Um, any question with the conversation? No, teacher. What is the other way to say a strange noise? Funny noise. A funny noise. Okay. That is another problem with a printer. Yeah, that could happen. Making it's making a funny noise or a strange noise. Strange. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I am Mike and you are Maria. Okay, let's practice. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. Hello, this is Mario Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working. It does, and it's making a strange noise. It's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes. Yes. It's yes. a service. Yes. 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 There is a red light on the other side. I would like you to come like soon to check. check. Soon to check. Soon to check. I see. I'll be there right away. Okay. Now you are Mike and I am Maria. You begin. One, two, three. Mike Hernandez. Mike Hernandez in the department. Hello Mike. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. Where is the problem, Mr. Ochoa? Where is the problem, Mr. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? The control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I see. I'll be there right, be there right away. There right away. Okay. Very good. I'll be calling grinding boy. Uh, okay. I want you to practice the conversation. And after practicing the conversation, I want you to complete these two sentences. Okay? You can use the conversation to help yourself. Let me... Uh -huh. Here it is. Let me send this to what's up to you. There you have the conversation and the sentences to complete.
Okay, I think the groups are okay. Okay, join your groups, please. Practice the conversation. Just complete the sentences. And see you in around 10 or 15 minutes.
Okay, guys, welcome back. Let's hear your pronunciation now. Okay, let's start with Daniel and Gilberto, please. Okay, okay, Daniel. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem. Why me printer? What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it is making a, a trans noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yeah, it says serving. Also, there is red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. He'll be there right away. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with Allison and Vladimir. Okay, um, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa. From accounting, I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service also. There is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I will do it right away. Okay, thank you. Now, please, Edwin and Julio. Thanks. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Sorry. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. Well, this is the problem, Mr. Ochoa. It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is it the remaining in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon and check it. I see. I'll be there. All right, away. Okay, very good. Now, Rosalina and Salvador. Okay. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Okay, thank you. Now, Andres and Virginia. Okay. My Hernandez, uh, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. And what is the problem, Mrs. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it is making a strange noise. Is there, is there a message in the control panel? Yes, yes, it says service. 
Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I be there, a right, 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 Chapley. Okay, very good, thank you. And finally, Carla and Noya. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It, it doesn't seem to, to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it's a service. Also, there is red light on the error button. I would I like you to come soon to the check-in. I see. I be there right away. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Let me check some words. This message, message. Is there a message in the control panel? Okay, message. This. Error, error, error. Um, this strange, strange, strange. Okay. Strange, message, error. Strange, message, error. Basically those words, okay? Do you remember the meaning of right away? What is the meaning of right away? Voy en camino. Mm. Rara vez. Mm -mm. Mm. Ya nos apareció anteriormente. De inmediato. Yes. De inmediato. Inmediatamente. Ok. Ahorita mismo. Es otra forma de decir right now. Ya. Yeah. Right away. So, quickly. I'll right. be there right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So look at the the language Maria used to report the problem and she said I would like to report a problem. I would like to report a problem. I would like you to come soon. I would like you to come soon. Okay. So how do we complete this conversation or this sentence? Como completamos acá? 
I would. I would. I would. I would. 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 The pronunciation is would. Uh, forget the O. Let me enlarge this. Forget the O. Forget the L. Would. Would. I would like to report. I would like to report. Okay? Like would. Repeat. Would. 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 Es un sonido así un poquito largo. Would. I would. I would. Yeah. Ok, entonces aquí que escribimos. I would like. I would like. I would like. Like. Only like. Is this. I, I would like, like you. I fix. would like you to come to mm. fix this. To fix too much. Okay, we could use I will like to, or I will like you to, si quieres que otro lo haga. I will like to fix this, or I will like you to fix this. I would like you to fix this. I would like you. Oh, I would like to fix this. This is I would like to fix this. Es algo que tú quieres hacer. Si tú dices I would like you to fix this, es algo que quieres que otro haga. Okay. okay. What what is fix? Reparar. Reparar, ok. Reparar. So I would like to fix this. Me gustaría reparar esto. O I would like you to fix this. Me gustaría que tú repares esto. I would like to report this issue. Me gustaría reportar este problema. Yeah, I would like to report this issue. Okay. <clears throat> so this is a formal way to request something. To ask for help or request something. Solicitar algo. Let's see. How to use would like to, would like to, okay? Use would like to, to say what you want, especially when making offers and requests. So, we use would like to to say what you want. Para decir lo que tú quieres, lo que tú deseas, lo que tú necesitas. Especially when making offers. We use would like to to make an offer. Para ofrecer algo. Or to request something. 
para solicitar algo. Okay. Offer or request. We use would like to to make an offer or to make a request. Ya vamos a ver más ejemplos. Okay. For example, she would like to send the reports today. She would like to send the reports today. Yeah. A ella le gustaría enviar los reportes hoy. She would like to send. Le gustaría enviar los reportes hoy. He like to meet the new employees tonight. He, remember, this is the contraction. Let me write here the contraction. I, you'd, it, Shit. It. With. They. So these are the different contractions. I. I would. You'd. You would. He'd. He would. She. She would. It. It would. We. We would. They. They would. Okay. He like to meet the new employees tonight. He would like to meet. A él le gustaría conocer a los nuevos empleados esta noche. In plural, they would like to speak to a supervisor. Vean que esto no cambia, ¿verdad? Para singular o para plural no cambia. They would like to speak to a supervisor. We will like to ship this container tomorrow. They would like to speak to a supervisor. A ellos les gustaría... Hablar a un supervisor. We like to ship this container tomorrow. Nos gustaría enviar esos contenedores mañana. O este contenedor mañana. Ok. Para expresar algo que, que uno desea. Me gustaría. Te gustaría. ¿Ya? Yeah. O. Oh, vamos a ver. Let's see. Some. Something here. Mm. Tenemos dos cosas. Luego les comparto esta imagen. Tú puedes decir, para hablar de cosas que te gustaría. Would like a cup of tea. Vean. Cuando usamos solo would like a cup of tea. Me gustaría... Una taza de té. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, I would like a cup of tea. Me gustaría una taza de té. Okay. Vean que aquí no utilizo el tú. ¿Por qué? Porque 
esto, a cup of tea, es un sustantivo. Es un objeto. Es un nombre. No es un verbo. Por eso dice aquí, would like plus a noun. ¿Eh? Y would like to plus a verb. ¿Vean? Yo no veo ahí las letras. Escribió algo, Ticho. Ah, perdón, estoy compartiendo. Solo compartí. Voy a compartir toda la pantalla. Va, este cuadro. Ahora sí, gracias. Con este cuadro estaba explicándole. Ok, les pues estoy explicando que cuando solo usamos, por ejemplo, would like con un sustantivo, con un nombre, un objeto, ya, o algo, un sustantivo. Would like. No usamos would like to. Yeah. I would like a cup of tea. Yeah. I would like a cup of tea. Me gustaría una taza de té. I would like. Pero si yo lo que uso es un verbo aquí. Ya usamos I would like to. Drink tea. Observen nada más esa diferencia. I would like to drink tea. Drink is a verb. Uh, I would like, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, me gustaría un sándwich. I would like a sandwich. Me gustaría comer un sándwich. I would like to eat a sandwich. ¿Ven la diferencia entre solo would like y would like to? Yes. Ok. ¿Ya? Y así con cualquier sujeto. Esto no va a cambiar en ningún caso. You would like a cup of tea. You would like to drink tea. Okay, the affirmative form. A ella le gustaría eh, ella le gustaría uh, un Pastel. ¿Cómo diríamos eso? Sí, would like a pastel. Ok. A cake. A cake. Ok, very good. Let me write it here. Para poner un ejemplo. She would like a cake. Huh? She will like a cake. Okay. Uh, ahora sí yo quiero decir a ella le gustaría comprar un pastel. She would like to buy a cake. Uh -huh. To buy a cake. Okay? Okay. Very good. Porque tenemos el verbo comprar. Buy. Okay. So, la diferencia. Then just observe the negative form is wouldn't. I wouldn't like a cup of tea. Yo no quisiera una taza de té. 
I wouldn't like to drink tea. Yo no quisiera o no me gustaría tomar té. Ya, yeah, the negative form, wouldn't. Okay, wouldn't. Wouldn't is the contraction for would not. Would not. Would not, wouldn't. Wouldn't. Okay. Ahora, la pregunta. Porque decíamos también que se usa para make an offer, para ofrecer algo. ¿Por qué lo usamos de esta forma? Would you like, for example, would you like a cup of tea? ¿Te gustaría una taza de té? Would, okay. Would you like to drink tea? ¿Te gustaría tomar té? ¿Ya? Vean, el orden cambia. Would, the subject, like or like to. Would you like a piece of cake? Would you like to eat some cake? Or would you like to eat a piece of cake? Podría okay. también serse negativo. Sí. Wouldn't you like some, a, a cup of tea? No te gustaría. Ah, un poco raro. Sí. Yeah. Y the affirmative answer, porque esta es una, esta forma es una yes, no question. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, I would. Or yes, I... no, I wouldn't. La forma corta de responder. I wouldn't. Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Okay. Would you like drink to drink tea? Would you like to drink tea? ¿Te gustaría tomar té? Se responde igual. Yes, I would. Sí, me gustaría. Oh, no, I wouldn't. No, no me gustaría. Okay. Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. Okay. Any question? No, teacher. No, teacher. Bye. Entonces, este would like es uh, es más uh, refinado que decir solamente I want. Yo quiero. No, no es lo mismo decir yo quiero café. A decir yo quisiera un café o me gustaría un café. Ok. I want coffee. Es correcto, se entiende. Pero es más refinado decir I would like coffee. I would like a cup of coffee. I would like some coffee. Okay. Es el uso de would like and would like to. Very good. So before we continue with the manual, I want you to practice with this exercise. Okay, let me share here. You can go there. And I'll send it to you here too.
Okay, go to that exercise, please.
Okay, people, I will send you to working groups for a moment and to share your answers, compare your work, okay? Join your groups, please, and compare your work.
<clears throat> okay, people, I already sent uh, a picture with another exercise in WhatsApp. So I want you to complete those sentences with would like or would like to. Okay? So please go to WhatsApp. There are 12 sentences I want you to complete. See you in a moment. Hoy, teacher, teacher, eh, nos puso a hacer la actividad que mandó en el WhatsApp o la actividad que aparece en, en la plataforma. Oh, bueno, mm, yo consideraría que ya habían terminado lo de la plataforma. Sí, que eso era, la plataforma era lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. Ok, ahí está también la de WhatsApp para continuar. Ah, bueno. All right. Okay. okay, did you hear my message about the exercises in WhatsApp? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm doing it right now. There yes, you yes. See you. See you, teacher. Vaya, en la dos es como que le está, es dice que. Sure are. Mm -hmm. On a bus, why don't you assist? With the. Como que para que le deje el asiento al bebé, vea. Bueno, a la, bebé, ajá, a la, a la mujer, <ríe> ajá, a you, a you woman, dice. Como que va cargando a un bebé, ajá. Podría ser, es would como... you like to sit down? No, no va, ¿te gustaría sentarte? No, porque no le puedo preguntar eso. No. <ríe> Ay, no. Quiero Ay, bueno, porque, vaya, dice, está sentado... Like? Ay, no, siento que ya me estoy frustrando. <risa> tranquila, Pero tranquila. Es que, está, es que está bien confuso todo ahora. Ajá. Esto último. Sí. Este. I don't understand this. Some, some here with me. En la tercera sería, I don't understand this. I, I would like some help with my homework como que yo deseo alguna o ayuda en mi, con mi tarea pero ahí sería este algo like some help porque no es tú el teacher dijo que necesitaba en algunas partes iba a ser algo like tú y en otro solo algo like en ese caso solo sería en la tercera I would like some help. Bye. Some help. Bye. En la cuarta sería Patrick would like to go to the supermarket. Ahí sería would like to go. Porque cuando hay un verbo, y entiendo yo, no sé. Cuando hay un verbo de acción antes de go like, se usa tú. Mm. Por ejemplo, cuando es fix, como reparar, cuando es cook. Entonces usted dice, I go like to cook. I go like to go. I go like to fix. I go like to study. O sea, antes de un verbo de acción siempre se usa el tú en would like. I would like to fit. Uh -huh. Cuando, por ejemplo, usted ve una acción, va. 
como go, o sea, ir es una acción. O por ejemplo, estudiar, que es study. O leer, que es read. O, o escribir, que es write. Teacher, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? A mí me sacó de, um, de la reunión y no estaba cuando, no podía ingresar y no estaba cuando hicieron los grupos. No sé qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Estábamos con Eric, pero no. Te envié a otro, a un grupo, pero no sé si te está dando problema el internet, que no porque yo sí, también. Estaba... Ajá, es que estaba en, en un grupo, pero me sacó de la sala principal, me mandó después a un grupo cuando volví a entrar, pero en el grupo estaba Eric, y no recuerdo quién más, pero ninguno de los dos me contestaba, pero no sé qué es lo que, qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Es que ahí en WhatsApp les he puesto un ejercicio. Ah, ok. Te envío a otro grupo igual, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Hello. El teacher, este, fíjese que no nos sale la nota. Ya lo terminamos, pero no, no, no nos da nota. De verdad. Uh -huh. Quiero ver si tiene... Y ya le dieron en terminado. Sí, en comprobar, terminado. Comprobar mi respuesta. Sí. Y nada, tira, no tira nota. Oh, es cierto. Se lo mandamos así y después lo corroboramos uh -huh. con todo. Guárdenlo, solo guárdenlo. 
Ah, ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Gracias. Y eh, ahí les mandé otro en WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. Y ni me cargo allá. Son 12, no. son 12 los que tenemos que arreglar ahí en, en, en el que nos acaba de decir el ¿Y? y el del WhatsApp, por oh, Dios bendito. <risa> <risa> no lo había visto. <risa> tranquila, Ay. tranquila, solo es práctica, <risa> práctica. <risa> Está bien. Está bien. Right. Ay, no, es que me aflige. Right. Don't, don't No te dejes estar en los grupos, Carla. Sí, no sé por qué. Es problema de internet eso. Sí, el, los datos no me van a funcionar, solo el wifi. Mm. Pero también a Eric que lo saca, ¿verdad? No, él no ha entrado. Ah. <ríe> Parece que es cuestión de sí, trabajo. No va de hablar. ¿eh? <ríe> sí, no va de hablar. Ya él dice que no me contesta. Sí, él se conecta, pero parece que está en el trabajo. Ah.
Okay, welcome back. First, I want to check this exercise. The second one. Okay, let's work on this. Okay, the first one. I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. Okay. What about number two? Uh, let me ask to... Um, Rosaline. Hey, you raise your hand. <laughs> would you like? A break. Yes, Oops. we will. Give me a second, my phone fell off. Would Do you like you like a break? Like. Yes, we we would. Would. Ah, okay, very good. Who else raised the hand? Andres, number three. I don't understand this. I? I would like some help with my homework. Would like some help with my homework. Hey. Alison, number four. Patrick would like to go. Okay, very good. Number five, another volunteer. Andres, okay. I think that is good Tom like to come with us. Good Tom. Like to come with us. Okay. Would Tom like to come with us? Yes, he? He would. Would. Okay. La L no suena. Acuérdate, la L no suena. Okay, number six, another volunteer. Vamos, no tengan miedo. Sin miedo al éxito. Alison, yeah. Can I help you? Um, yes, I will. A ticket. To... I will. I would like a ticket. Uh -huh. No, esa palabra no sé cómo pronunciarla. To... Mm -hmm. Melbourne. 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 Okay, very good. A ver, tengo manos levantadas. Edwin, number seven. Okay, my friends would like to come to the party next week. Okay, would like to come to the party. Thank you. Another one, alguien más. Number eight, Rosaline. Would you like to work on Saturday? Okay. Would you, por donde está you, para ver, okay. <laughs> Would you like, like to, to work? Would you like no. to work on Saturday? No. Would not. Wouldn't not. I would. I wouldn't. Okay. Wouldn't. Perfect. Andres, number nine. Would you like a chocolate? Mm -hmm. 
Would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Okay. Alguien más, alguien más. Number would 10. you like? Would you like? Who? Would you like? Who see a movie? Would you like to see a movie? No, no I. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Perfect. Eleven. Alguien más. What would you like to do tomorrow? Sorry. Repeat, please. What, what would you like to do tomorrow? What would you like to do tomorrow? Perfect. And the last one. Alguien más. Andre, de nuevo. Who would you like some candy? Mm. Who? Would you like some candy? No. Mm. No. El you, Who likes some candy? El you está de más porque eh, eso es lo que estamos buscando. Who would like? Yes. Yeah. Who would like some candy? We, we would. Okay. Who would like some candy? We would. Okay. Um, let's practice the pronunciation of these sentences. I will record the pronunciation in WhatsApp first. And after that, we are going to practice if we have time. One, I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. Two, would you like a break? Yes, we would. Three. I don't understand this. I would like some help with my homework. Four. Patrick would like to go to the supermarket. He needs milk. Five. Would Tom like to come with us? Yes, he would. Six. Can I help you? Yes, I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Seven. My friends would like to come to the party next week. Eight, would you like to work on Saturday? No, I wouldn't. Nine, would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? 10, would you like to see a movie? No, I wouldn't. 11, what would you like to do tomorrow? 12, who would like some candy? We would. Okay, all right, it's time. Okay, it's time to stop, so we don't have time to practice the pronunciation. We may have time tomorrow. Very good. Let's take the last attendance of the evening, please. Turn on your camera and respond. Alison Andrea Serrano. Present teacher. Carla Yasmin Rivera. Present teacher. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Eh, Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present, good night. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present teacher. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present. 
Eh, Gilberto Benito Santa María. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jennifer Guadalupe Elías. José Andrés Martínez. Present teacher. Good night. Ok. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Good night. Ok. <risa> Creo que me contestó. ¿Qué me contestó? ¿Eh? Ah. Ok, Julio César Fabián. Present teacher, see you tomorrow. See you. Omar Alexander Chávez, que no estaba viendo y oí otra voz. Omar no está. Eh, Raúl Edgar Los Arceño, tampoco, ¿verdad? Uh, Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Eh, Salvador Alberto Soriano. Yes, sir. Ok, good night. Eh, Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. Present teacher. Ok, don't go. Vladimir Alejandro García. Vladimir. Eh, William Boris Roque. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. And William Rodrigo Ángel. Ok, ok. Very good. Okay, that's all for today. See you tomorrow, people. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, uh, Virginia. Hello. Hello, teacher. Um, bueno, este tiempo es nada más para aclarar dudas, comentarios. Eh, no sé si hay algo que quiera reforzar no pues ahí solamente como le digo es de es de ir anotando verdad con las palabras que se tienen dificultad más que todo este cómo se pronuncia la pronunciación más que todo es es la propuesta de algunas palabras que son nuevas, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, el inglés se pronuncia. Y como usted decía, ¿verdad? Ya es el colmo que las palabras que ya se mencionan en todas las clases. No, yo no dije colmo, yo no dije colmo. <risa> ¿Verdad? Pero sí, este, sí, hay unas que como de tantas repetirlo, como dice usted, se nos van quedando. Exacto. Bueno, aquí solo como tres, ya los otros ya los veo que son como <ríe> este, intermedios porque la mayoría sabe, sabe un montón ya. Ya lo pueden leer el inglés y ya lo pronuncian bien. Ah, algunos sí se ve que han tenido algún contacto anterior con el idioma. Uh -huh. ¿verdad? Pero sí, como yo les digo siempre, es apenas el módulo dos, o sea, no es de de desesperarse ni pensar que estamos mal vamos a, a empezando pero sí, sí desde ya hay que hacerse el hábito pues de, de escuchar 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 no basta la clase si, si queremos sí. ir mejorando no basta la clase hay que tratar de eh, incluso tal vez no apartar una hora del día verdad es porque es bien difícil pero pero andar ahora con los audífonos, ¿verdad? Andar escuchando, el cerebro va grabando. Aunque uno tal vez no esté prestando toda la atención, el cerebro va grabando, ¿verdad? Ay, uh -huh. Gracias, bueno, también ver así. Como dice usted, películas así, caricaturas más que todo. Sí, sí, sí. Son pocas las palabras que se pronuncian a veces, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Entonces, y ahí sí sale... La pronunciación y todo eso. Ahora, con lo que hemos visto hasta hoy, ¿tiene alguna duda? ¿Hay algo que no le haya quedado claro? 
Mm, no, teacher, este, ahí es bastante, ahí se da a entender, siempre da a entender. ¿Cómo va usted con la plataforma? <ríe> Voy a ver, ¿no? Esta semana creo que sí debo. Virginia, no, pero usted ya terminó. <risa> Ya lo hizo todo. Ya la hizo todo. Teníamos, teníamos hasta el martes, dijo. Pues está bien, perfecto. Uh -huh. No hay problema. Bueno, pues entonces sí, este... que escuchar los audios que yo le grabo, verdad, eh, como les digo, escuchar música tranquila, que se puede entender, uh, sí. para, para ir familiarizando el oído, verdad, porque eso es lo que cuesta. Cuando uno entiende, entonces él empieza a reproducir mejor. A pronunciar. Sí, porque lo más fácil a veces es leer, pero sí. ya la pronunciación es más difícil. Sí, pero se puede. No a la perfección como gringo, ni ellos lo hablan bien a veces. Sí. Ah, pero que se nos entienda. Eso es lo sí, importante. Exacto. Como les decía ayer, lo importante es que se nos entienda. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Así es, dicho. Vaya, pues cualquier cosa estamos a la orden siempre. Claro que sí, le agradezco. Bueno, para servirle. Bueno. Hace feliz noche. Gracias, igual, bitch.